Hey, what's up guys? This is the Yamaha RX V385. I'm going to show you guys how to do a firmware update using a USB stick. Alright guys, so here's the part where we download the firmware and put it on the flash drive. The flash drive needs to be in FAT16 or FAT32 file system format. Okay, so verify the correct model number. In my case, it's the RX V385. You know, if it's not the correct one, obviously don't get the firmware for it. Anyways, it's going to ask you to agree to this license agreement. You know, that's your decision, but without agreeing, it won't let you download it. Before I download it, again, your flash drive needs to be in FAT32. The way you check that is if you right click on the flash drive, you go to properties, it shows you the file system, it shows you NTFS. Uh, if it, yours is in FAT32 or FAT16, it will say it here. And if it is, skip this portion of the video where I get to the part where I download this and put it on the root folder. Um, put the bin in the root folder. But if yours is not in FAT32, stick around I'll show you guys how to do that. So because my drive is larger than 32 gigs, if I right click and go to format, it's not going to give me a FAT32 option. So it's just going to give me NTFS or XFAT. So not to worry. There are a whole bunch of tools online, a whole bunch of free tools online as well that let you convert this. I use Mini Tool Partition Wizard. I actually bought this one. The free one might or might not let you give you this option. I don't know what the free one does have. But in this case, if I select uh, if I select disk 4, which is the correct one, notice it's the iDrive and it's called USB 128 gig and it's 119 gigs. So all of those numbers pretty much match here because all my other ones are different sizes with different names and different letters. So make sure it's the correct disk. But if you right click on this, you go to format, it will give you a FAT32 option here and you could click OK and then over here it says operations pending, you're going to click apply. Once you apply, it's going to erase everything on there and change the file format. If you don't have this tool and don't want to get it, or if you're not going to use another tool, what you could do is you could just use the Windows PowerShell. So if you type in PowerShell, you have to run it as an administrator so it's gonna say like hey run it as an administrator you click yes and then you're going to type in format forward slash fs fat 32 and the i drive in my case now this stuff might may be case sensitive so type it the way i typed it but again the i drive it might be different for you so verify this is the correct drive notice mine is the i drive here so verify it is correct okay so I'm going to press enter, wait a few seconds, okay, it asked me to enter it a few times, but anyways, it's going to say insert new disk for drive I, press enter when ready, and I'm like, yep, I guess it wants me to press enter a few times, it normally doesn't do that, but I'll take it. Anyways, so this is cool. It will work. The problem is it's going to take a long time. If you don't want it to take a long time, then get one of these tools that speed it up and really simplify things for you. So I don't want to wait a very long time because this is going to take a really, really long time. So I'm going to press Control C and I'm going to type an exit and yeah. So then I'm going to go to mini tool. I already did that so I'm just gonna click apply but again you would pretty much just click format select fat32 you would click OK and then you know you would do that here so I already had that so I'm gonna undo that but basically this is what you would do and then do apply and it says like hey are you sure it's like yeah I'm sure and then done that's why I like this tool and other tools are fast as well Okay, so now if I click on properties, it's going to show FAT32, which is exactly what I wanted. And if I click F5 for it to refresh, it's going to be here. Now, if I click on format, it's still going to show as XFAT here, but don't worry about that. This is where you need to pay attention to that it says FAT32. Okay, now that it is FAT32, open that up. Download the firmware. Uh, you can either do open or save. Basically, you need a unzipping software, so I have 7-zip. Uh, you can get 7-zip for free. I'll put a link in the description below. Or you could get WinZip, and there's a whole bunch of them. But essentially, I'm just going to put the bin file. Super important, don't put the zip file here. You need to put the binary, the bin file here. 
at the root folder of the drive. So notice that there's nothing on this drive for myself. You probably could have other stuff on here, um, but I just think it's safer if you don't and you put the binary file at the root folder. Okay, so now we're ready to install this on the receiver. So before we do the update, we're gonna actually check the version. So the way you do that is while the receiver is off and off and plugged in, which is standby mode, we're gonna hold straight, then hold the power button. And that's gonna take us to advanced setup. And so we're gonna use the program button to go all the way to and we're gonna see the version number which is 1.06 now the one I'm gonna put is 1.08 so I'm gonna go ahead and update this so again we're gonna turn this off so here are the steps so you get the firmware you unzip it you put the bin file on the root folder of a flash drive and the flash drive is formatted as FAT32 so once you do that then you plug it into the USB in the front same process so you hold straight then you hit the power button takes you to advanced setup and then you just select the program until you see update USB once you get here all you have to do is press info and it says USB update so you could see the process happening right now. Obviously don't unplug anything while this is going on so just leave it alone don't touch anything and just let it finish. Okay so it says update success it says please power off so we're gonna power it off and then we're gonna unplug the USB stick so we're gonna wait five seconds before we turn it back on okay so now turning it on so obviously everything works now we're gonna turn it back off now we're going to check the version so again we're going to hold straight we're going to press power it's going to take us to advanced setup so now we're going to go to the right until we see version we're going to see 1.08 so now it's been updated so it has the latest version as of now if you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe thank you guys for watching